Hello and welcome back to Machinki. We have a lot to do today. Yes, we do. We've got to pin these. That's what we've got to do. This one. What is this one? Is this timed? Is this timed? I don't know. Uh, let's let's see. In, in fact, if it is, we need to pause this. Hey, dude, how's it going? <laughs> I've seen the old... Uh, this is the one that popped up, isn't it? Just before we left. I've seen the new trains you've brought. And they're a totally different league from the, excuse me, old steam ones. I can remember how you started with the first train, such a poor one. And you were glad you could spare some coins for fuel. Yeah, look at, him, look at my bank balance, dude. If you're going to call me, dude, I'm calling you, dude. I've read somewhere, somewhere that these new trains can fly minus 80 miles per hour. Yep, yes they can. Maybe even more. I asked one engine driver and he said that it could be possible, but it needs a higher quality, long straight track. And on your rickety old rails, you can't even try. Wade Comebacker. Friend, you're not a friend. You're a mean, mean person. 500 coins, not even worth it. But I want to do the quest anyway. Well, he's a bit of a, a, a chappy, isn't he? We do have uh, one train that manages it. These are obviously not going to manage it. It doesn't seem to be timed, but we are going to be adding some trains. Now, the reason we're sat here, I'm still not sure whether this is timed or not. It doesn't say so, does it? You never know. Anyway, we're delivering steel and we're going to be doing this express train, which will add two express trains, which will reach 80 miles an hour. I hope. <laughs> That's the plan for that. But that only leaves three. So, for this run that we've got going here, unless we upgrade some of our passenger trains, of course, some more of them, including the one we have over there, um, miles away that way, we'll go and take a look in a minute. It's the uh, the big loop station. We have a, an abundance of passengers on that line. That could give us a, another three if we put them on. How many do we need? Five, and we've got one. So we could just put two on there, to on the loop line and we'll, we'll retire the current one that's on there and we could also put two two on the brand new passenger line and that will be this done anyway we're sat over here you can see i've made a new foundry station this is going to be important it is part of a new steelworks setup i've gone ahead and put in the stations so that they can start building up resources and we've got an iron mine up here. Sand is a bit of a journey. It is it's quite a way away. It's up here. That's the closest sand we've got. Now, the reason I'm doing it down here is because we already have a tool work or a factory set up near Detroit or in Detroit. And as you can see, I've started to set up a second platform. If you remember in the previous episode, I was like, oh, should I shuffle this around? Well, I have. Hopefully it won't cause any problems. I put this to the side, added a second platform, and that's where we'll drop off our steel. Which, in turn, we could probably uh, we could probably add this to that. We have enough funds. Yes, we do. Let's do it. If we can squeeze it in somewhere, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? There we go. Just there. Now, this is going to be cool if they do build up around Detroit. Luckily, we got it paused at the moment. It's 1974. I feel like we're in a good place as far as Luton doesn't have many people on at all, do they? No, because we're going to have to deliver people here. I like this entrance into the station. You're probably going to need more than that, though. However, one thing we should do is, in preparation, have a waiting room on here. Might be nice. I mean, if anything, it looks quaint now. Yes, we've got a quaint station near Luton. You got, you are going to get an express line, which is going to share part of the uh, the main line that we're doing. Now, what we should do while it's paused, Bakersfield, there you go. I remembered where it was. We'll go and check on the other steel works. I think we're doing okay there. I would like to get the, uh, the secondary steel works up and running ASAP. Yeah, that's, that, I said that ASAP. That's where we're going with that. I'd also, given what we're doing, 
it might be an idea to now separate this uh, this freight line that shares the line. The reason being, uh, our signals are on this side, unfortunately, but we can rework that. I'm thinking of having a second passenger station here and sending the other one around like that. So we'll utilize this one instead. Our passenger train has just left, fortunately. So we could send that into the depot. It could scoot off into this depot. And then we can use that depot, can we? Can you get onto the main line from there? You, you can't really, can you? No. Well, we could, um, could force it to get back onto the main line, perhaps. If we had a a branch line coming off here, will it be enough? Yes, yes it will. Do we like that idea? Then we can uh, we can have another place to access. Ooh, you know, the more I think about that, the more I think it's... Where is the other depot, though? We use one that's miles away, don't we? Uh, it, is, it is this one. So yeah, actually, that's, that's not a bad idea. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I mean, if, as long as we signal this up correctly, it should not be a problem. That should prevent any sort of blocking. Beautiful. Okay, so what we can do then, since you're here, please go to the depot. Hopefully you go to the right one. We're going to lose a lot of people. However, we are going to have a fancy new train on there that can do super fast speeds. And as you've seen, the EMD does it does that we could get that going couldn't we how much money have we got tokens keep saying money it's tokens engines i mean we could bring on these 87 miles per hour i'd like to save that for our super duper express line even though there's not going to be many people there uh we've got the sasha that does 68 this does 87 yeah the emd f3 does 81 miles per hour and it doesn't cost valuable steel which i feel we might need Plus, look how much steel the GM40P take. Goodness me. That is all sorts of a freight train that we're going to love putting on, though. I'm, I'm sort of excited for that. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, should we get an EMD on, then, for, those, for the new passenger services? Doing this loop, and we'll put two on. Engines. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to have uh, an EMD F3. Does 81 miles per hour in our lovely blue colours. Is there a US is there a US railroad company that operates with blue and white and black isn't it as well I'd be interested to know I might try and look it up anyway passengers only because we we've decided we're doing mail differently with a separate line if need be and it's going to go station to station and we could have a third platform on we might have to look at some of the platforms anywho how many tr passenger wagons can you fit on probably quite a few let's put a restaurant car in the middle in fact could we put a couple of restaurant cars on it might be kind of cool they weigh 50 tons well i mean it will give us 40 percent extra right yeah let's do it and then we'll add oh we just can't add another one if we did put another one on it takes us far over and we need to not slow down that would be terrible and it, although it is depending on whether it's full it carries a lot of people so if we take one of those off uh, info you can't do it the other place. take one of those off that leaves does it leave enough we could put a different wagon on the back we could certainly do that we could double head it but we're going to have multiple trains instead so it matters not wagons 44 plus uh, yeah that's 60 something it's just over isn't it how about we add uh, some second class coaches on the back i don't know it kind of ruins the train doesn't it although some trains do run like that it's 38 it still takes us over first class is 42 you'd need to be these little coach cars nah, nah we're not doing it for looks alone we're not doing it we're just going to have a nice little consist like this i like that we could move the uh the dining car in the middle a bit there we go that that's in the middle that's lovely look it says it here we get 20 percent extra i do like that what we can do do you still have your orders you absolutely do that's that's fortunate 
So we'll do our orders and add his orders. And away he goes. Hopefully he finds a way on there. Th this should be interesting. We're not going to start it up just yet. What I would like to do is add a second station here. Maybe a third. This is going to be a big station eventually. One of these is going to be for mail. Uh, this inside line is actually going to be the new, the new main line where we're going to be heading up to this bridge here. And as you've seen, we don't slow down. Now, I would like to go across the top of this. So this is going to be, this is going to be a little worrisome. I think, we can, I think we can sort it out though. Well, we could technically have another bridge, couldn't we? That seems a bit silly though. What we'll do is we'll bring this in like that. Hang on. Am I doing this right? Yes, we're going to have a third bridge in the middle. That's right. Plans. Plans are afoot. Is that right? That's the two stations. Uh, we could have a bridge here as well. Which would also work. Because this one can scoot off straight, straight away. I would prefer it if it did not come down again though. Right, let's undo this a second. I know. I should have really built this first and then done the other stuff. Let's not join these. And let's delete or sell this bridge. I'm kind of worrying, granted. However, I have a plan, guys. I have a plan. I'm hoping this will look kind of fancy. Now, this one is going to be our new main line. That's going to be the same bridge. However, what I'd like to do is, is make use of some terraforming and actually make a sort of raised section for this. So we're going to go from here and we're going to like raise this section up. And hopefully it works. We should be able to get from here and go up. What we need to do is flatten from there. This is my idea. Whether it works, I don't know. There we go. Now, will that give us a nice flat bridge? If it doesn't, then my plans are scuppered. <laughs> Let's see, shall we? Uh, do, do, do. What are we building? We're building a nice bridge, aren't we? Yes, we are. Now, you're going to come from here and straight down. Does that work? No, you still got a still got a little lump. But we got to go one higher. I can never remember how you do this. I, I had this down quite nicely. And I, I can't remember how you do it now. Do you have to have a track there first? And then you build the bridge. No, we might not be high enough. We should be though, right? That should be high enough. I'm trying to see. It needs to be that high, so maybe not. Maybe not. We'll raise it up one more. Just one more. And that's lowering. Do you think this plan is going to work? I hope it does. Yeah, object is in the way there. And then we'll flatten from here. Did I flatten that right? I don't know. A little worried now. No, you, you're you not do. Oh, no. Why am you not using the flattening tool, sir? Doesn't matter. Fixed it. Uh, we don't need it like that. We only need two anyway, don't we? Uh, these two, yes. I don't know how we're going to get down here. We might actually bridge over. Oh, that's... I've, n I've not thought this through. So can we flatten this bit? We can, but we'd have to... We'd have to come across here for that one. This one I want to bridge straight across, you see. Because it's our super duper express line. How are we going to come back over here, right? That would be a good one. Have you thought this through at all, Mr. Grand? You did have a plan, and now it's all falling to bits. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Right. Put a track there. Build a bridge from there. Will it work? Of course it won't. Really? Yeah, it's, it's not quite enough, is it? To get over there. I think I messed up, though, when I did my... Uh, unintentional flattening we're going to raise you up again when a plan doesn't come together there we go that should be enough surely surely that's enough bridge 
Well, that won't work like that, will it? Come on. You can do it. Oh, go nice and flat. Yes. Oh, you're beautiful. All that for that. But anyhow, it does 112 miles an hour. So does the stone. No, it does 50. Oh, no. The bridge only does 68 miles an hour. Oh, we need a, we need a better track. Well, that's unfortunate. Can't avoid it, though. It's going to be done. Do we like this? It's nice and flat now. Do prefer that. Right, this one is the one that's heading straight across. So we're going to get another bridge. We are going to slow down here. But we do have a nice a nice section there. Now, you can do sort of the same thing, but you need to come down much smoother than this one. Can we do it? I kind of hope so. Because uh, we can't go on the edge here. We would have to do some more terraforming. Maybe just raise it up gently. Like so. So it's not uh, the stone is what we need. And then you'll need to flatten this section. Flatten. Like that. Oh, not like that. Like this. Then can we lower it gradually? After here. Like that. Oh, yes, we can. That's lovely. We do like that. Or I do like that. <laughs> Is that nice? If we kind of come down then, we can meet that track. That'd be lovely. Now, can we make this bridge? Well, we're probably going to need a flat section there to do this, aren't we? Oh, you've, you've done that wrong. You're supposed to be... Yeah, you've done that. Oh, no. No, no, no. We can do this because we can branch out. They don't slow down four corners as much. So if we go like this, put a little less bend in. Yes, that's what it is. An S-Bend for trains. This is going to have to be that height, isn't it? To start with. But it should give us a gentle slope down. So what I'm, what I'm getting from this now is I didn't quite think it through, but I kind of did. And, and now I've had to change my plan slightly. Although, how's that looking? It's not looking too bad. I like the triple bridges. I do like that. Now, can we still get onto the main line from there? Probably not. Which way is that running? What is this one here? That's our main line, which we're going to change. Yes, yeah, so delete this bit. Otherwise, you're going to get confused, which you already are. Let's face it. Okay, this bit here is no longer needed. We're actually going to come around a little different yeah that actually works look we're over here okay given that let's uh let's fashion us where are we coming from in fact do we need to go across there at all Ooh, we do really don't we where is luton oh luton i know you're up there somewhere where are you goodness me i've missed i've lost luton Luton, where are you? You're right over there. Should we be heading this way? We could uh, follow that track, couldn't we? As I as I do it with the bulldozer. Yeah, that makes more sense to me. No, not like that. You want to delete this. Let's undo that. I'm sure you've mentioned in the comments now that you're kind of going there a strange way. We can still go across, but I, I feel like we can uh, go across at this point here. And that should take us up to Luton. It's a bit around the houses, but it, it sort of makes sense more with this section now. And I'm sort of tempted to have it bi-directional, this little bit. Considering we only have two trains and it possibly won't be in the middle. This bit is now working, just here. We need to find a way back on there. If if we've left enough room or oh, you just haven't have you you just haven't that's unfortunate though yes that's super unfortunate so that train that we've just bought is gonna have real issues getting on here oh dear unless unless i have an idea oh you almost you can come off that way should we have it branch in here? That way we've got a, a way onto this line as well. Like that. Because this is only going to be for for our 
uh, passenger or depot access. That's it. That's all that's going to be for. So if we signal that up, I know it looks a mess, but it's rarely going to be used. And it's only, like I said, only for, uh, for freight access. Not freight access, uh, depot access. Now he should find his way on there. Absolutely. All right. Like I said, it looks a bit spaghetti-like at the moment, but it won't soon. I'm taking a lot of time to do this <laughs> passenger line, aren't I? I hope it turns out well. There we go. There we go. This bit was the complicated area. Now, given what I said, we could technically branch out. Remember to tidy that back up. So our new, this line, is going to come in there, hopefully. So to do that, we need to flatten this. So it's nice and perfect. And then come in somewhere like that. Can't you do that? No. What are you doing? Oh, because of the, the signal. The signal, Grand. You've got to get rid of the signal. It will not like that. There we go. We did it. We're in. Uh, the, that, the other one's going to be male. Did we ever decide to use it? Hopefully that leaves us enough room. Our mail train will uh, rejoin the line. That's what I'm hoping to do with mail train. Can we go off earlier here? We can, and that means we could sort of bypass the town and then head back this way and into there. I know uh, Bakersfield is a bit enclosed, but there's nothing stopping us going across, is there? So we can separate that now. So I'll our main express line has the signals on the right side as well. This is going to be different. This is not how this is working now. We're going to have an awesome like four track thing with with passengers and things. I'm looking forward to it. I really am. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, you're not thinking. Yes, you are thinking. <laughs> well, sort of. Uh, this is branching here. This is going to be the duck. No, you can't do that with a signal there. This is going to be the bi-directional section just here. So we get rid of... I've just realised something. Can he get on the depot now? No, you can't. Can you? Although, no, he can find his way back to the other depot. That will be fine. As long as you can get over. Which you can't, so we'd have to have a line here. Oh, that's that's messy. Yeah, not not thinking. Not thinking, am I? Uh, could you branch off there? That's lovely. Temporary line. Used for swapping between the two. Yes, yes, that's what I've done. And given that, these are now bi-directional, which is um, a little iffy. Unless, wait for it. Can we go through there? Oh, goodness me, I'm scared. I am all sorts of worried about this. It, does it need to be double tracked? Possibly not. Is it going to be double tracked? Absolutely. That's going to be there. There. I mean, yes, we'll wait. We'll sit on there, but it, on this uh, junction, but it matters not. It matters not because it's temporary. There we go. Right. So that is our bi-directional section. Meaning, can't have a one-way signal there. We can have entry and clearance. There we go. You're going that way, you're going that way. You're all the way in now. That's lovely. Let's uh, signal that up. Signal this up. And do the same here. All right, guys. I mean, technically, Oh yes, of course, because this is separate now. Our freight's going to be separate. They're going to have their own little bridge going across. I don't know where yet. Probably here, if we've got the room. Like I said, we're going to have a fancy four-way track here. Uh, it's three away. There we go. I'm going to go viaduct. No, 50 mile an hour. Why would you? But it looks cool doing it. It looks nice, doesn't it? So why not? We're going to go in like that. This is a freight line, so why not? And we're going to head round the back here. 
this is our new new freight setup going on and hopefully we can just can we get in there that's worrying and not how I wanted it I'm gonna have to get rid of this signal and that we might need to do a little wiggle at the end or you could do that because this is no longer here is it yeah it's silly billy don't need that at all or that but what we could do yes this is better given how long the trains are we can have them <laughs> i did it again do you remember the last episode of my lovely mouse usage i don't know whether it is my mouse anymore i think i'm just getting lazy in my old age there we go is that better because our trains can uh, both park separately i like that no i like that a lot right you go in there and there and there that should be lovely are you connected you are connected how's it look in beautification mode have i spent 30 minutes doing this and not even set anything up well that's an episode isn't it well goodness me and we're yet to hit play hey it happens sometimes building is part of the fun for me anyway i'm not sure how it goes down watching guess i'll find out in the comments <laughs> and and how well we decide to uh, do this right we need to go across there ideally perhaps we can flatten that though because there's no water there i know we're kind of getting rid of the can we oh not like that that's too much let me just do it like that there we go i know we got rid of some of the water how's it still look no that looks oh i love it i would like to get this connected at the very least uh, we're going to need to flatten this this is where we're going to run right along the, uh, the the edge of the lake here uh, this bit's going to need doing isn't it yes it is there we go it's looking lovely away you go we'll get this hooked up that's where we're heading off so we don't need that bit now, should we have this as a bi-directional bridge as well? Because it's going to be absolutely massive. I'm sort of looking forward to it, though. Let's see how it does. Now, given the tricks we've done, if we... I'm just checking my tokens. If we drop this, shouldn't we be able to make a perfect, like, straight bridge over to the other side? Oh... We, we've missed it a bit, haven't we? Don't do that. Get rid of this. Yeah, you 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 need to be coming across here. That would be ideal. And in fact, because we've got to get across here and we're kind of raised up there as well. Where's Luton? Are we even close to Luton? Or have I, have I overshot? Where's Luton? Don't lose loot. There it is. Yeah, this is perfect along here. So we, we raise up and go over. This is this is kind of cool because we're passing over that that line again. Right, so if we do it from here, can we just go... Well, let's see, shall we? Can we just go straight across? Yes. And raise this up here. It would be nice. I'll have to raise it up again. This is where we're going to, our sort of landing place is. Like that. Like this. Uh, that is eight. There. If you look there, it tells you how high it is, and that's eight. The question is, will that make a bridge? Hopefully it will. From here, we need to go up a little more. Oh, that's flattening. Goodness me, this is an episode of sorts what are we up to now nine does nine make a bridge yes there we go guys uh, suspension bridge just like that well I've made my mind up we're having it two way there we go now given that what height have we got here four so we need to raise this but we can go up gentle this is in the wrong place so ignore that well you could ignore it quite easily if you deleted it. Delete this. We're going to raise this up and make sure that is at 9. Raise. So we're going to do it like that. 
raise that up as well. This needs to say nine. Now that's at nine, it should be at the same height. Then we'll, we'll make a gentle slope down here and slowly go up towards the, the fantastic bridge. There we go, can we do it? That's nine. Would that be nine as well? Yes, it would. Can we drop that one. There we go, we've got a bit of a ramp going on. Do we like it? Six, seven. So we start at six and go seven, eight, nine. I kind of like this as long as I've just realized is that even close to being in the right place? Oh, I, I might have fluked that, guys. I might have fluked that <laughs> just a touch. <laughs> okay, please be a perfectly lovely. Oh, you are absolutely beautiful. How much is that going to cost us before we click anything? It's going to cost us a small fortune, but possibly worth it. You get in there, and we're going to have two of them, because it looks cool. There you go, guys. We're in. Not really what I wanted to be doing this episode. I didn't realise it was such an undertaking, but never mind. I've, I've had an extraordinary amount of fun doing this. Way too much, in fact. I guess I've missed building things like this. There we go. Can we scoot through here? This is beautiful. It's mostly double tracked. Yes, and we're going to meet up right there. It's, oh, it's wonderful. Right, flatten that. Get you in there. We're almost to Luton, and then I think we'll call it, guys. We'll call it when we hook up to Luton. There you are, all the way down there. So this one going to come there's there's a gamer 514 super duper oil train we took another look at that in the previous episode now where are you you're up here can we uh can we come down straight lovely oh it's beautiful that's a little bit of an excite because we're, we're actually close to um completing our run here there we go actually Considering that's a loop, you can scoot off sooner. It seems a bit pointless to have double track, but we might utilize this whole section again. I don't think we can build a track here. We'd have to would have to have that as a as a literal wall, which you can't do. So the only single bit of track is there. But other than that, guys, we've we've got it in. We've got it in. And we're fully signalled up. All the way, we've got signals on the bridge, on our wonderful double bridge. We're in, guys. We're in. It's a thing. I like it. We, we get a bit close to the forest there. Do we like that? We're going to have to get a train on there. It's going to be pretty much the same consist we just built. And we're going to have two on. Will he find his way up there? I don't know. We should play it. Right. First time today. Oh, no. Press two. First time today we're going to play. I hope he finds his way in there. We're going to check that he finds his way out. He does. We should have access onto that line. Yes, we do. Right. Now we need to make that same consist, but we're going to put it doing the express line for our quest. This one, express train. Should we have that one? We could We could have this one. We have the tokens for it. Do we want to get a V220 on? <laughs> Do you know what, guys? We're doing it. Because we can afford two. Because these wagons do not take, uh, do not take steel. You can carry. You can't carry as much. Oh, we'll have to check that in a second. Hold on. Hold the press. You can't carry as much, can you, sir? No, you can't. That's a little sad. Yeah, you can only carry... Well, you're only one carriage short, but you, you're much faster. And let's face it, do we need... Oh, we could double-head it, but then... This, this has been a mistake. This has been a mistake. That would have been better on the main line. 
would have to double head that and we cannot afford to have two of those but we do need to get it going could we put one on the back Ooh, now we're talking do you know what we're gonna do it we're gonna have one of these on the back uh, i hope it works like this we uh we lengthen that but make it easier you go on the back we'll add we can add some more coaches on then i know it's excessive but it's gonna look wonderful right there we go we need to move you to the to the back there we go how many more can we fit on quite a few now can't we goodness me it's it's a beast we should have another restaurant car then in the middle can you do it on here no <laughs> he just moves the window uh, how many more can we fit on uh, four or maybe maybe one two three 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 will do that's enough right let's get some of these we'll get all these in there and then we'll keep them there is that in the middle we got five there five lovely do we like this i hope this works right and now engines no info click back on that you wanted to close that orders you are going to be going oh what have i clicked there nowhere fortunately you are going to be going to luton there we go and then you're going to be coming back to uh, bakersfield just here you should should have no issues with that let's start that train now we've got a problem who is it it's 68 can't find its way you should be going to the depot why can't you find your way from there you can get on just there i don't know what's up with him we might have to make a depot for him to go in do you know what let's just do that shall we let's give him a depot to go in too quickly otherwise we're going to be messing about with this forever I mean, it might, it's kind of cool having it on there anyway. But I'm not messing about with you trying to figure out why you won't go on there. There we go. All right, he's off. So our other passenger, whoa there, Mr. Man. What on earth are you doing? You gave me a worry there. Goodness me. Will you just go into that depot? Who knows? Please don't wang into our brand new train. Which we will look at. At the end. I can hear him. There he is. Oh yes. Our brand new express passenger service to Luton from Bakersfield. Who's got to wait for our oldie train there. He should be good. Look how long he is. He's amazing. He's amazing. That's not a screenshot, is it? Oh, in fact, it is. Hide the UI. I don't care. Print screen. There we go. There's the thumbnail. Love that. All right. Our train's underway. He cost us a fortune. Bring that up quickly sell you get rid of this sell there we go i know there's all people on there you're gone i know it was our uh, fancy one but we've still got a couple of those do we like this is it wonderful is it going to get up to speed wait a minute he's very quiet at the back interesting the uh, rear train, uh, the rear loco, isn't doing anything. What do we, what do we got going on here? Oh yeah, little bumps. That's not good, but I like it still. Right, guys. Before we go, what I would like to do is duplicate that train and get both of them running because we've got to go for this, this one here. Uh, it shouldn't cost us too much, right? It was. Uh, oh no, it cost us sixty. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll duplicate. Where are you? I was going to say we'll duplicate the other one. If you're wondering, I had a slight coughing moment just as we I was recording the outro on the bridge. <laughs> so what we'll do 
he carries 400 people. What we'll do is we'll get on board because he's only going to pick 71 up. It shouldn't take long. We'll get on board and we'll sit on the right side. And we'll press F11. This is all rather clunky. All right, guys. That has been another machine key. We're about to go over the bridge the other way due to my body malfunction. And we're going to call it there. That has been a busy, busy, busy episode. We've, we've set up uh, a brand new express route direct from Luton to Bakersfield. Because that's a thing that I'd never thought I'd be saying. I'm going to leave you with a short cab ride going back over the bridge to see how wonderful it looks. Hopefully it doesn't crash. We can see ourselves over there to the left. That looks wonderful. And that's it. So we'll, uh, we'll duplicate this train when we come back and have two of these monstrosities running in this express service. And we'll see how big we can get looted. Kind of be fun. You can see all of our works going on everywhere. Oh, I enjoyed that one. Hope you did. So until next time, take care.